Halong Bay is one of those dream destinations that you see in the brochures and in the movies. Normally you see it with the sun shining on the picturesque cast and isles that rise out of the emerald waters on the Gulf of Tonkin. Today it doesn't feel like that in the slightest. I feel like I'm back in England, like north of England, Halong Bay. We are in Halong Bay, it is raining, not happy. Stay tuned. Listen, just got to um, the port that's going to take us to Halong Lake. Uh, literally, listen, I was meant to record uh, some clips in the bar on the bus uh, on the way down, and uh, I slept, bro. But yeah, man, it's it's, it's, it's pissing down, bro. I'm pissed. Yeah, I'm pissed. First time, and it's pissing down. Halong Bay is about two to three hours away from Hanoi. And when you get there, you are permitted to make a compulsory comfort stop at the Pearl Factory. Right, so here, they show you the process of pearl making. You know what I mean? Basically, Halong Bay is the island of the pearl farms and stuff like that. So they show you, um, and then you go inside, there's a shop. You can go get, you know, pearls and everything else from. Halong Bay is not known for producing pearls. However, there are several pearl farms located in the nearby region of Bai Tong Long Bay, which is also a part of a larger Halong Bay area. Pearl farming has been a traditional industry in Bai Tong Long Bay for centuries, and the region is known for producing high quality pearls. Visitors can learn about the pearl cultivation process from seeding the oysters to harvesting the pearls. The first step, we have donut oyster. You see, open the oyster. The technician is cutting the membrane. This part, all we have here already, this is the membrane. This will be clean, sliced into many small square pieces like this. They are treated with antibacteria to make them more effective. Okay. The tissue here, they like catalysts to stimulate the nacre for the future one. To make sure the process goes faster and more successful. Then we implant the tissue, the raw one, one of it together, okay? Into living oyster, another step, okay? The first step, finish. Okay. One donor oyster can be for 20, 24 recipient oyster. Yeah. And please, let's see the second step. You want to come behind, you see how many leaves? Like this leaving one, you see, we take slightly of the shell a little bit. Then she take the gold nut, cut small line. We implant only one. One tissue in first for harvest. The raw one is going to be followed in the shape. The diamond. But the success rate is about 30% because some oyster die, some rejected. So it's Then after this process, the oyster will be cut into the measurement like this. And you put it back to the ocean. Yes. And you take at least three eggs and one year to have a fur. Bigger size will take longer. Yeah. And we come to see our. So after this process, the oyster grow naturally. We do nothing. For the starter, we put it into the oyster. Then it grow naturally. They come in natural color, in natural shape like this. Okay, you see? Some raw, semi raw or baroque. Okay. Now she will open one oyster, you see? This. Which one is more expensive? Normally, golden color and rainbow color. But it has to depend on the quality. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, size quality. Okay. Yes, you see the burn, you see? You see the new burn is quite shiny. But it 10% over everything. This is cream. Burn cream. Do you want to taste the cream? Weather's not looking great, we're not happy, not happy with the weather. That's what comes with it. Um, so yeah, you get a little bit of a history lesson, a little bit of what this place is like, and so on and so forth. We're gonna go and board the boat now and tour around the islands in this rain. Piss. So I booked this trip through the hotel I was staying at. 
The trip cost me around £50, but I made a schoolboy error. I didn't check the weather forecast. And it's raining. Doing Halong Bay in a different way. Halong Bay in style. Anyways, this package includes transportation there and back to Hanoi, the boat that takes you along the Halong Bay, food and drinks. Yeah, so we just had our lunch. It's a good lunch, uh, variety of uh, food and a real dishes on the table. Look at this hoodie gang, the hoodie gang, <laughs> jealous. Why? I know. I listen, I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson, I'm not doing it again. Well, we are in Halong Bay, it is raining. Not happy. Not happy. Um, it's raining, it's cold man, it's cold. I should have brought my jacket. You bring your jacket boss man? You bring, you got a jacket? No jacket. So uh, it's gonna be a long day. Uh, it's still beautiful though. It's stunning, like breathtakingly beautiful, but this weather is taking a piss, bro. It would have been nice if it was sunny. Look at that. We're just out in the middle of the ocean with you know little clifftop islands scattered all over the place. It's like setting out of a movie. I feel like I'm in I feel like I'm in James Bond. Nice, isn't it? I feel like I'm James Bond. I said, I feel like I'm James Bond. You this, feel like yeah, James, James Bond. Bond, you Bond are yeah. James Bond. Oh. <laughs> the black James Bond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be the best day of my life. <laughs> oh dear. You're putting a lot on this. I know. I was, uh, <laughs> this was meant to make my Vietnam experience. <laughs> and here I am in the rain. Oh Jeez. They are going for it. Fair play, they're making the most of the experience. We are at the dry cave now. We're drying off here. Um, we needed it because it's flipping cold, it's rainy, it's wet. But when you're here, you can take pictures. You can see it behind me right now. Take pictures right now. The dry cave, My hair's wet. We're all wet, <laughs> but it's beautiful. Look behind me right now. Crazy, crazy, crazy views. Known as Tien Ong Cave. It's a dry cave located in Bai Tong Long Bay area, which is part of a larger Halong Bay region in Vietnam. The cave is notable for its well-preserved prehistoric artifacts, which have been dated back to the late stone age. You know, he's too scared. Oh, no, no, no way. 
we could have been we, we, we could have taken a shortcut see at least walk up there at least at least i dare you just there just there this is amazing on your reality the limestone the patterns that is formed Tian Ong Cave was first discovered in 1938 and it was later excavated by a team of Vietnamese and French archaeologists in the 1990s. Their excavation revealed a wealth of prehistoric artifacts including stone tools, ceramic pottery and animal bones. The artifacts suggest that the cave was inhabited by a prehistoric community of hunter-gatherers who lived in the area around 10,000 years ago. If you are planning a visit to Vietnam, Halong Bay is definitely worth a visit. I've just been unlucky with the weather. It is a stunningly beautiful and unique natural wonder that will leave you with memories to last a lifetime. And remember, take a jacket just in case.